Austin here from Curry Motors, and this is a 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E Premium, and this is your deep dive. So the 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E, one of the most talked about electric sedans on the market right now. This is available here. So this is a premium in rapid red metallic. It's an all wheel drive with the extended range battery. The extended range battery gets you about 277 miles on the charge uh, and Ford's one of the largest charging networks of 75,000 plus chargers coast to coast. Uh, so you will be able to take nice long trips using our Ford system, our Ford navigation system actually will show you uh, your charging ports, when you need to stop, uh, how much they are, if they're free, if they're superchargers, what's the weather in that area and how will that affect your range. There's a lot of great technology with this Mach-E. So starting on the side here, we do have your charging port. You just press that in. Now you can activate the you know, supercharger ports and everything like that, or you can just have that closed for your regular charging. This is your battery gauge to show you how much battery you have in there. Now I want to show you the frunk. So to get to that, we're just going to go down here, pop this lever once, twice. Now let's go take a look at the frunk. So you have a waterproof storage container in here where you have cup holders. You could fill this with ice. You could fill this with, um, you know, Ford filled this with Buffalo wings when they first released the car to show your tailgate capabilities. Um, there is LED lights in here, a little hatch release in case you get trapped in there, and you do have your wiper fluid under here. Uh, it's a nice, versatile, air-sealed storage container. Uh, maybe on a road trip, you fill this with ice, put all of your sandwiches or your drinks or whatever you want in here, and it's easy just, you know, when you stop, pop your hood, and you can go in and grab uh, your food and or drink. So the front of the car is a gorgeous look. It's a nice, sleek look, especially in this rapid red. You see all of the lines. It looks nice down here. You have uh, the active air uh, shutters down there along with your sensors. You have the front camera here right above the horse. As we go around the vehicle, you can see these lights wrap all the way around in the front. Same in the back, giving you 360 degrees of lighting on the vehicle. You do have approach lights. Um, a light will come down from here and it will show a horse on the ground as you are approaching. Now it's day, so it's hard to see them down there. These are collapsible. Um, there is cameras under here for your 360 degree uh, cameras. Now as we go around to the back, we'll pull our key fob out and we'll double tap here. Now, just like standard Mustangs, you do have the uh, license plate button to unlock it there and open it. You can also close it here and set the height of this. Now, there is a ton of storage space. This comes down just by pulling this up and dropping it down and taking it off the back here and dropping it down as well. That second row does lay forward to give you a lot more trunk space. As you can see right now, there's, this, there's the all-weather floor mats. Um, there's actually LED lights here in the trunk area and a 12 volt if you need to plug in or charge or maybe you tailgate with the actual uh, back of the vehicle. So as we close that, let's come around the side here. Now getting in the vehicle is unique. There's these little buttons you just press like this and it opens the door. Now you cannot close the door as you can see me pushing so that way your fingers don't ever get jammed in there. So you pull your hand in and pull it open. The back seat is spacious. It does lay down. Now I love the roof on the premiums because it's this full glass. It's really nice. It is tinted so the sun does not become a nuisance, um, but it's very nice and I do like the look of it. Back here you do have your air. You do have some USB plugs as well. There is a little armrest in the middle here for your back seat passengers. You see on the walls, there are speakers here and a giant speaker in each door for that uh, B&O sound system. 
up front here, we do have our keypad here. Put your own five digit code in, lets you in. You could use your Ford Pass app to unlock, lock, auto start your car. Also on the Mach-E, you could use it as a key. To open the front doors, you'll press this button here and just pull that little lever. So let's take a look on the inside. All right, so inside of the Mustang, we have the Mustang logo here. On the doors, we do have your collapsible mirrors, as I was mentioning. They do auto collapse for you when you do shut the car off. Um, you can have your memory seats over here that are tied to your steering wheel and your mirror. So all three of them will have, you know, whatever user one, two, or three want. You have your lights, you have your auto high beams, auto headlights. Um, you could adjust your dash lights there and uh, your traction control settings are right over here. Now, as far as the driver safety and everything up here, you do have adaptive cruise control with lane keeping and there's lane centering on the vehicle. Those three together will help activate Blue Cruise, which is Ford's hand-free uh, driving that's available on most major highways. You do have your Ford Assistant. You do have, uh, you know, you can answer your phones and you can change your uh, radio volume and everything. Now, your main cluster up here is going to show your MPG or MPH. It's going to show uh, around your vehicle. So when you're driving, if there's anything that gets close to it, it'll warn you and uh, have sensors pop up. It'll have your range and your battery life. So all of those are basically the only things you need. Now, as you change your drive modes, this your screen will change a little bit up there, and your center st stack cluster will change as well. Now, speaking of the center stack cluster, you do have this giant 15-inch screen here um, that's you know full digital. You can touch and feel everything on here. I have a full deep dive video of this if you want to check it out. But going over a few quick things, if you click the car, you click driver modes. You'll notice you can switch between whisper, engage, and unbridled. You could also add one pedal drive where if you, as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it'll come to a stop almost. You can change the ambient light selection as you switch through here. And you could add propulsion sound. So there's an engine noise that comes through the speakers, making it feel like you do have a real engine in the vehicle. Now, each of these are going to change the way the vehicle drives, uh, the way the vehicle sounds. You know, Whisper is going to minimize all noise. Unbridled is going to give you the most power. And it's going to unleash the vehicle. Engage is for those nice everyday driving uh, and everything like that. Now, Whisper, you're going to notice you cannot turn on propulsion sound. Where Unbridled, you can turn on uh, propulsion sound. In here, you do have your heated seats heated steering, your AC controls, and your everything else. This is the, the home to your whole entire uh, vehicle. Down here, you do have a wireless charging pad, as well as USB plugs, your cup holders, your gears, your parking brake. You can uh, turn on your parking sensors by clicking this, or turn off your parking sensors by clicking that. In the center, you do have a minor uh, storage area that does close if you wanted to, as well as your armrest. Up top here, we do have our garage door openers, our Ford Assistant speaker, um, all of our lights, our sunglasses holder. These seats are very comfortable. They're the it's the Maki -E Premium, so you do have the nice uh, upgraded leather interior. Um, it's an it's a nice pattern. They're perforated. They look very fancy. You do have this giant sound bar coming across the whole front of the vehicle here. Uh, it is all B&O, Bangs and Olufsen sound. So it's going to be a nice concert grade quality sound throughout the whole entire vehicle. And if you love loud music, you can definitely get this vehicle very loud in here. So this vehicle is available here at Curry Motors Ford in Frankfurt. Uh, it's not going to last long, I can guarantee you that, as this is the most popular EV vehicle on the road right now, and these fly off the shelf. It's a, a, a miracle that we even have one in stock for uh, the public to purchase.
And if you are interested in stepping up your EV game, getting into the EV game, uh, this is definitely the great vehicle. Come out here to Curry Motors Ford in Frankfurt and check it out.